Okay. The general form of volume integral is if you have some scalar function, let's say, let's say temperature. Okay. And you want to take the, we want to multiply it with your density, your volume element. So if you have a volume element in Cartesian coordinate system, it is usually a small box with dy, dx, dz dimensions, where d tau is d, dx, dy, dz. That's why some, uh, that's why usually the volume integral is at the very least a triple integral. So if you want to take the volume integral of this, okay, the form is really like this. So sometimes let's call this, let's say, uh, total. Okay, so one application of this is that we can actually get the uh, total current in a volume of charge, okay, by integrating uh, let's say dq. So dq is your infinitesimal amount of charge within a, let's say, within a volume. So this is your d tau. So usually dq, this is dq. This is your infinitesimal charge. Now dq can be expressed in terms of a volume integral as long as you know the, what we call the density. Wrong. Okay, we say density, this is your charge density. Okay, so in this case, the total current at the total charge, okay, within this object is in terms of the charge density. Sometimes we are given with the charge density, so that means if you want to take the total current at the total charge of that object, we just integrate the density with your volume. So whatever the volume of this element, that will dictate the uh, range of values of your uh, integration. But this is actually a triple integral. It can or cannot, uh, the, your raw can be placed outside or cannot be, cannot be placed outside depending on the nature of your charge density. If your charge density is uniform, okay, if rho is uniform, you just take out the rho because that's constant of it, that's constant with respect to this integration. And then we're left with integral of theta. And what is this? If we take the integral or if you sum all the volume elements within a certain volume, we'll end up with the total volume. And this is your total charge. Okay. We're in here we define that for a uniform row, remember this is supposed to be uniform. Okay, Q total divided by V total is how you get this uniform charge density. Okay, we can also do this. We can also apply this concept for line charges. So instead of having a volume integral for a line charge, we just use line integral. If you have a surface, in, if you have a surface charge, let's say a spherical shell, instead of using a uh, volume integral, we're going to use area integral. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the that's the differences between volume element and uh, line integral and volume integral. Okay, just to give you an, again an idea, in Cartesian coordinate system, just to summarize, okay, uh, DL can be, uh, uh, is generally expressed as a vector quantity in three dimensions, that's DX, X hat, plus dy y hat plus dz c hat. Air element can be in, uh, can be expressed as uh, dA 
n hat, where n hat is the uh, normal vector or the per uh, a unit vector perpendicular to your area. And that area can be in several forms. It can be, it can be, let's say, let's call this d a1. This can be dx, dy, n hat. This can also be in terms of dx, dz, n hat, whatever n hat is, or da3, which can be expressed as dx, uh, d, sorry. Which can be expressed as da3 equals dy, dz, n hat. And lastly, d tau, as I mentioned earlier, it's just a product of dx, dy, and dz. So you notice here that dl and da are vector quantities, while d tau is a scalar quantity. Now, how about if we apply the volume integral again in, uh, for vector functions b? So for example, okay, uh, so the volume integral of V, D tau. So remember that this is V x, x hat plus V y, y hat plus V z, z hat. Dotted it with uh, times, sorry, this multiplication, D tau. So this becomes integral of b x d tau x hat plus integral of b y d tau y hat plus integral of v z d tau z hat. Okay, so that you will notice here that this parts. This, this, and this are basically this form. Okay, so these are one, two, three volume integrals. Okay, but we rarely use this form. We usually use this form. Okay.